Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you what to do if you're getting the Valorant message critical error has occurred on Windows 11 in 2023. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to simply update your Windows 11 system. To do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon and then on the left pane click on Windows update and afterwards on the right side click on the check for updates button. Now wait until Windows will try to scan for any available updates and then it will download and install them automatically. After installation you will restart your computer and then check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to update the graphics card. Now to do this right click the Windows button then select device manager from the list of options and then in the device manager window make sure to expand the display adapters section, right click on the problematic device and select the update driver option. Now in here just click on search automatically for drivers and Windows will try to search on your computer for the best available drivers. Afterwards just restart your computer and then you can check if the problem still persists. But you can also uninstall the drivers. To do this right click the problematic device in the same category on device manager and then select the uninstall device option. Now in here tick the box next to attempt to remove the driver for this device and then once again confirm by pressing on the uninstall button. From here on you'll see that after you will restart your computer this driver will be automatically reinstalled and then you can check if the problem still persists. Next in line another useful solution is to run Valorant as an administrator. Now to do this if you have the Valorant icon on your desktop is to right click on it, select the properties option and in here make sure to click on the compatibility tab and as you can see you have an option in the settings section to run this program as an administrator. Make sure to tick the box next to it and then click on apply and ok. But another solution to take in consideration in this same window is to actually run Valorant in compatibility mode. As you can see in here you have a compatibility mode option. So make sure to tick the box next to run this program in compatibility mode 4, then select Windows 8 or Windows 7 and then click on apply and ok. Afterwards make sure to just check if the problem still occurs. And lastly another useful solution is to reinstall Valorant. Now to do this press the windows button and select the settings icon, in here click on apps on the left pane and then on the right side select the installed apps category. Now the next thing to do is to scroll down until you find the Valorant game, click on the ellipsis next to it and select the uninstall option. From here on after uninstalling Valorant make sure to just reinstall it using the client, the Vanguard client and afterwards restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Another great method is to use DriverFix which is a free updater application for Windows. So basically DriverFix scans your whole system and then searches the web for the most recent drivers. And from there on you can choose to update the drivers you need manually or all at once if you upgrade to the Pro version. So make sure to check it out and get it for free by accessing the link in the description below. And that's it, super simple isn't it? Of course if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.